Hey YouTube, just thought I'd make this uh, review video about the Oil Bud oil cooler produced by Bud Clark for the Harley Davidson motorcycles. This one uh, in particular is a 2015 Streetlight Special. I already have the Oil Bud on my 2016 Softail Slim. So firstly, just to uh, talk about the quality of the oil cooler. The components are CNC machined aluminium and they come in a range of finishes. With the adapter plate you can have polished or powder coated black etc. Uh, the oil cooler works by circulating the oil through um, what is described as a heat sink or heat sink uh, plates which are underneath the motor between the uh, sump and from there it is claimed that the uh, heat from the oil uh, dissipates out through thousands of machine fins. It's also claimed that the oil bird does provide cooling and stop and go traffic. So firstly just to um, talk about the installation. Um, I'm pretty pernickety about fitting things on the bike and uh, being a loss adjuster and an engineer, I'm always looking forward to think, well, what's this going to rub against? What's going to happen if it touches here or there? I'm not one of these people who just puts things on and cable ties it all down. So I did have quite a few problems with the install. I've seen that on some of the forums that other people have said these things are not straightforward to fit. And... Um, you know, I, I can't say the instructions are all wrong, but they do leave a lot to be desired. I think, you know, they, they are missing uh, further step-by-step -step photographs to show you uh, where the fittings go and how they actually fit on the bike. Um, I can just show you one problem I had that took quite some sorting out. It does say in the instructions, you can see here, that we've got the adapter plate here and we can see the braided hose that runs down now it says in the instructions that should run along the inside of the frame rail where it should be clipped and it should then go onto the cooler at the back however if you look at the instructions the uh, hose where it comes off the cooler at the back is not at the same angle I have had to put the hose it's more uh, at 45 degrees in line with the engine so there is no way you can have that hose fitted up there and that all clamped down and then fit that at a more inline angle to the uh, the pipes or the frame rail and I'm going to tell you why because when you look underneath that connector here would be behind here so there's no feasible way you can actually attach that hose once it's clamped down and this is one of the problems i sat here for hour after hour routing this hose one way routing it another way and uh, phoning bud and saying bud this hose has to be too long man and he said it was 31 and a half inches I took it off again I measured it it was 31 and a half inches so as I say I don't think there is any way I could fit this hose as it appears in the instructions the only way you could do it is if the hose was shorter and you fitted the the back section first and then went up to the uh, the filter adapter then maybe the hose would run all the way along the frame rail and I wouldn't have all this excess. Uh, I don't necessarily think the excess is a problem because if I need to take that hose off at the back, I can actually undo the securing bolt under the engine, drop down the back element and actually take the hose off from the back. So I'm kind of happy with it the way it is, although it's not exactly how it appears in the manual. Uh, and I think that's what kind of took me so long to fit this thing. It was, you know, it was a case of I had the hose clamped on there, but I couldn't fathom where all this excess went because it doesn't look like that in the manual pictures. Um, the other thing 
that the manual doesn't really go into a lot of detail about is the torque settings on these little uh, aluminium adapter uh, bolts. I have the same uh, fitting on my Softail Slim and first time I fitted it because there's no torque settings I managed to strip the bolts. So again it would be helpful if the torque settings were in for those bolts there. Um, the maximum torque I have on them now without stressing the bolt head is about three pounds so that's about as tight as I could uh, as tight as I could go with them and the other thing which again is not clear in the manual it's in there but it doesn't really make it clear how important it is is when you fit the cooler elements underneath the bike the importance of making sure they are correctly adjusted and not touching the uh, sump of the motorcycle uh, bearing in mind this is a rubber mounted engine uh, that again isn't really made clear in the manual first one I fitted I ended up with a squeak because uh, the uh, elements were actually rubbing on the frame and sump of the engine so you know buds there on the end of the phone uh, if you need to call in but it would be nice if this was just kind of explained a little bit more uh, clearly in the instructions with a bit more emphasis on what could happen if the clearance isn't there under the motor and how to run that um, that hose along that side because I say I just spent hours putting it on and off and on and off and kind of uh, being a bit lost at why it was so long and why it wouldn't fit so that's the installation side of it covered now for the performance uh, what i can say is the oil bird is definitely a superior oil cooler to the stock harley davidson model which is fitted underneath the regulator on the front uh, i have uh, tried the oil bird on the street glide special this week temperatures here are around about 20 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius in the afternoons uh, Prior to fitting the oil bud, my sort of cruising oil temperature on the motorway running at about 70, 75 uh, would have been about uh, 235 Fahrenheit, somewhere in the region of that uh, temperature. Uh, in stop and go traffic in the city, uh, you know, constantly stopping at traffic lights, moving a bit, stopping at traffic lights, those sort of situations. I was experiencing oil temperatures of around about 250. Uh, since I fitted the oil bud, uh, if I am uh, on a run, I will get back. The oil temperature is maybe around about 220. Uh, in uh, slower moving situations, uh, today I was on a country lane just moving slowly at say about 30 miles an hour I had oil temps of around about 240 but they kind of quickly reduced now to around about um, 220 once you start moving and uh, strangely enough the lowest temperatures I've had is let's say I jump on the bike nip down to the local town which is about five miles away go to the shops and come back my oil temps in those situations are around about 197, 200. So overall, um, there is not a 30 degree difference on the Street Glide Special that I've seen up to now. I've tested it for a week and uh, you know I was pretty uh, thorough on checking my oil temps before that. I would say overall there is around about a 15 degree uh, drop in oil temperature um, admittedly I haven't tested it in really hot weather yet up to 40 degrees Celsius that we get here in the summer uh, but you know based on my tests so far uh, I would say it's averaging about 15 degrees less uh, that in comparison with my Softail Slim which has exactly the same engine intake straight through exhausts digital dipstick it's virtually the same bike apart from you know the obviously the frame and the weight is slightly different it hasn't got the fairing the softtail slim difference with having the uh, oil cooler 
is about 30 degrees lower than it was prior to having no oil cooler. So, you know, based upon this comparison, it seems that the Air Slim, uh, the oil temperature on the Slim, uh, is further reduced in comparison to the Street Glide Special. So if anybody's got any uh, comparisons or uh, explanations to that, I'd love to see some comments. Obviously, the Slim uh, has a remote oil tank which is not connected to the sump. That may be one contributory factor. Uh, the Slim is a lighter bike. The engine isn't working so hard. That might be another contributory factor. But if anybody's got any, um, any explanations as to why the oil bird provides uh, better cooling on the Softail Slim in comparison with the Touring, I'd love to hear some comments. Well, that's it for the review. Uh, please go and check out Jericho Summer, Night Train, our album featuring Marco Mendoza from Thin Lizzy, Richard Fordus from Gun Ro Guns N' Roses and uh, Albert Lee. Cheers, guys.